Hey, it's James from Finland School. On today's video, we're installing this Doorbell Pro 2 by Ring. Let's get into this. So into the job then. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna install the Ring Doorbell Pro 2. So we've done one next door over there. We did like a little TikTok on that one. So next door seeing it and think that's pretty cool. It's gonna um, do these cars. You've got to see what's going on. So it's got a nice uh, field of view. So what we're gonna do is, is mount it up here, drill through. So I'm gonna cable from here to the switch, from the switch to here and then hide the transformer in there. So that's the job. So let's crack on. All right, so we'll get that switch and knife round. So we just knife around it, just so it's going to start there, stop about there, and then just, just tease it around the corner. And then we're going to do all four corners, just so it doesn't pop the pin. So if you do that, just scar it a little bit. When you take the screws out, it'll actually come out without damaging the decor. There we go, got that out then. So it's a bit of a detailed job, this. So what we're going to have to do is just knife all the excess. So if you see this little rim around here, as long as you stay about three mil under, the switch will go back without disappearing into the wall. So what I'm going to do is just take take that off around the edge, and then this box should slide out nice and easy without pulling a big piece of plaster off. There we go. That's the box out the wall then. So that should. What we should be able to do is just drill through, and then fish to here, and then we can fish from here up to this bell box. Give it a squeeze. There we go. We're in. So we should be able to take those gubbins out and get the transformer in this position or even use this as a transformer potentially. So we'll see. All right then, so this is what you get in the box then. So you get your little transformer then, let's pull him out. So <clears throat> if you did, if this was like a, a newish build or whatever, then you could put this in your fuse board next to your other breakers and then wire in and then that cable off to your ring doorbell. So let's just pause the neg on this. Let's just pause neg. And then you've just got live neutral to power it up. Easy as that, no worth. That's that. Our CPC, circuit protective condun conductor. Conductor. Not like a German, but whatever. I'm not going to go there. Bavarian. Right. That's your ring doorbell then. So I need to answer this, but essentially a little screw just holds it on. So I'm going to get a little screwdriver and then just pop the back plate away from this front plate. And then what else do you get? So you get some quick start instructions. If you want to use this with the original doorbell, you can use this, but of course the original doorbell's right tucked in to this pillar. You're not going to see much as far as the car. I can't open door. Right. So you see that tucked in there. If we were just plucking that there, it'd stick out way past here anyway. And because it's got such wide angle, you won't see anything. It's probably some this, this this camera angle. You'd literally see that. So you won't actually see that car and what's going on. So that's why we're going to drill through the pillar. Uh, what else we got? And you get like a little cool screwdriver with it. Like a little scary screwdriver. So it's got that. So that that's to put the little grub screw up underneath once it's all done. And you've got a little angled bracket. So you can, if it's not quite facing where you want it, you can angle it that way or that way, depending which way you put it. So that's what comes in the box. Right, so that separates from that then. And then you've got two fixing holes there and there. So what I'm going to just hold this up and then we're going to need to see where where we can put this. So obviously that is where the terminals go so as hole going through to the inside needs to land in this section here. So we'll mark out for that, mark out for that and then mark out for this. Right that's all marked out then so we've got the top fixing hole, bottom fixing hole, that's where we're going to drill through for the centre. So we're going to send that drill bit through then, aim for this middle wall. So we'll have to measure him up and make sure we land it perfect in between this cavity and it should pop out in this switch hole. Alright, we've got the perfect angle then. So when you're figuring out these angles then, you've got to figure out how far back, you've got to figure out where this wall is here. So we kind of measured out, so you add, you add these up, these steps up, add that up, add that little lip up, add that up, add this little lip up, <clears throat> and then you, you've gone this way, so it comes up to uh, 100 mil. Or 10 centimeters and you go work back this way so whatever this distance is you minus off minus off that and then you left and then it was 40 mil left so that must have been 60 mil <clears throat> so 40 mil landed as, landed as 
here and then what we did is get the depth of the actual wall which was um, 80 mil so all we had to do was from that 40 we knew that's the front of the wall here and the depth is here so what we had to do was slightly drill here on a slight angle which over this distance will pop you out in the middle of the wall so there you go that's how you kind of figure out how to angle a drill was one of the most brilliant minds of his generation he saw the world in ways that no one could imagine. This flies in the face of 150 years of theory. A beautiful mind. Right, so instead of using a rod, we could rod it, but if this is going, because we, we want to go up at an angle, you're not really going to get your rod down in. So we've got a bit of earth, which obviously we can get it nice and rigid, so it'll go straight through. And then if you grab it, you've got to actually bend it and pull it through. So we've got a bit more play with it, so let's get this out. So that's a bit of a, a bit of the hairy Mary situation because <clears throat> that could go quite wrong and you could pop out the plaster and but we told them it, this could happen but obviously you want the best option for the customer where they don't have to redecorate so Alice is just straightening this out now just a bit of scrap copper that we had in the van and we're going to send this through do an end-to-end -end tape and then pull through his new cable up to his bell box all right that cable's through now so if you look it goes through the wall there and then we've tied on and pulled it through to there so we've got to get it up the wall next, but I'm just going to wire this end up so we can push it in the wall. So you twist twist it up, wrap it around the screw in the direction of the spin, so right it tighter. Give him a nice tight and then give him a little tug test to make sure it don't fall off. And then, it's because it's the same again, so create a little, little loop. And then I'm just going to wrap him around like that. And then give him a little tighten up. Ah, tug test. Sounds right. So that's him in now then, can't speak right, and then I'm going to push this through, push this through, push this through, and then we're going to leave loads of excess in the wall, so, so if you need to, you can pull it out again. So, so yeah, if that's fixed like that, if we leave loads in the wall, we can just pull it out and work on it and then push it back in. So that's what we're going to do. But we need to push it back now, so we can make sure that these screw holes just line up, and then what we need to do then is get that, get these two drilled out, and then we can get them plugged, and then get these fully screwed back and the cover on and then that'll be the send on. Right, so it's in the 5.5 hole, use the plugs that come with it. You have to use the plugs and screws that come with it just because it's that precise and the screws need to be a smaller screw because you can't use like an inch and a half eight. So what we've done is got one fixing in, I'm going to get the level out and then mark where it needs to be. Um, if you don't do that then you might slightly be off by a few mil and it'll literally, it'll go from there to that and it'll just look wonky. So yeah, right then, we'll mark the bottom out and get that fixed. Yeah, we're full of top tips today then. So I've banged it in. It can't protrude at all with these. So you've got to get a hammer, and these actually hammer flat. So I'll show you that. So you want to kind of get the edge of your hammer in there like that. I've done the same at the top. What I've done is got my Stanley knife and just chopped it along the top because you can actually see the top of the plug if you don't do that. You'll see like a little plastic little, little hood over your ring doorbell, which you don't want to see, do you, Alice? There we go. And here's a little kitty. Hello. What have we got here? <laughs> trying to get a pat. <laughs> Look at that, he's got his little friend. <laughs> so that's him fixed back then. So another note then, you want to make sure that I, I did it level. So when we put it up, it looked a bit wonky. If you look here, the actual house, this pillar's out. You see that, that gap there to the left? So you've got to match that little gap. So if we... If we bang that on there now, we've got a little gap to that left and it actually looks correct now once it's on there. So, and then that's that little thing I talked about, you can see the plug, so I've chopped it down. Once you get the lid on, you shouldn't see any of that really. But yeah, it normally sticks way over, so it's a lot neater job that. Yeah, that's a security screw on then, and that's looking absolutely brilliant. So, perfect job really, and no holes this side, so win-win. So next job then, I'm going to fish this up the wall. And then what we're going to do is just connect into Paws and Neg here. And that should be ring doorbell powered up. And then we've got to look into plugging in the chime. And then, yeah, that's it. We could even use that socket. Right, so we're just going to send it up now then. Let's send him up. Guys, do it one under there. Beautiful. All right then, so that is the bell powered up. So we've fished him up the wall and then we've gone bottom left for pause and neg. 
to record. I've had it where it, the bell box were knackered. And we, had, we basically just took all the internals out, put that transformer in there, and then put the cover back on. So that were another way around it. So let's get that back on. That's it. That's it powered up now. So you can do. No. Yeah. And it's only 12 volts, so it is low voltage, so I've done that live kind of thing. But there's no live parts to, to touch. And you can see that's all spinning around, ready for pairing. So obviously um, the customer's going to have to get it, get it on the app, get the ring app, and then connect it up. But we'll show you how to do that. And uh, then as far as the switch then, that just pushes back up and in. And we'll get that screwed back then. And there we go, nice and clean then. You can't tell we've been, look at that. Perfect job. Right, so... Oh, this is, we've also got like an outside light to fit, so some of that now, she's got this little thing to fit. So this is just getting the glass in. Let's get it so it just don't wobble. Probably a little bit more than that. That'll be that, and then we've just got to set up the device on the customer's phone. And set up the chime, so we'll try to do that. That's a spinning way to be on pairing mode. It'll stay in pairing mode for a while. But yeah, that's, that's going to be where that goes. So new light, new camera. Look at this. Hello, cat. Oh, it's gone a bit of a sofa. Come play. Hello. Are you okay? Are you friendly? <laughs> yeah, all details on, so let's have a look. All right, then, so we're setting up the ring device then. So it's going to set up ring device. It's a doorbell. So you click doorbell, and then it says ready to scan. So there's a, there's a if you just allow it in the camera, we should be able to. It's a little QR code on the actual product itself there. So we're just going to get that up. And there we go, it's scanned. It's, it's, it's noted that it's a Ring Doorbell Pro 2. And there we go. So we say what it's for. So, so we're going to say it's for a home. Continue. Uh, the customer's going to just put in his address. And then that's basically it. It'll take you through a few options and it'll be all set up. And there we go. So we're starting in the address. So it's going to be the front door. Uh, obviously, we've remo removed the film because you're getting a bit the lid off. So your ring door being installed, yes, it's been installed. And then what we need to do is just type in the password for the internet. There we go, so we just connected that to the Wi-Fi then. So, that, so we just press continue, continue, and then it'll go through a, a series of steps then um, of setting up the different areas. So uh, I'll set up a thing and then we can change it with the customer. Um, let's have a look. So you've got a few smart alerts of when, when it'll actually tell you someone's at the door. Uh, let's have a look. Let's use the default zone, continue. There we go. So it'll go through loads. Of the, it'll, it'll do a top down Eagles view, which will basically take it off Google Maps and then uh, it'll give you like a heat map of where the person is in that camera view, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that in a bit. Uh, and then you can get like set up privacy zones. So if you don't want to actually film a bit of someone's house or someone's street, you can like block it out so it won't film that bit. And then that's about it. Right, that's all set up now then. So this is the app then. So if we just go on dashboard, obviously you can't see anything. And we'll go live so you can actually see. If Alice goes to the front door then, you'll have to see his little, his little apprentice face <laughs> pop out there. Let's have a look. There he is, that's him at the door. And if we if we actually go on speaker, we can speak to him as well. And we can hear self. Hello. There we go, well, that's that. So that's that then, so what we're gonna do that's all set up. Uh, if you want to look at previous events, you just kind of swipe back and it'll take you to a conversation we've just had when we test it out with the customer. So now we're going to set up the Chime Pro. Then, so we're going to plug that in. We should get a little flashy wheel and then we'll just go into the settings up here under devices and set up device nice and easy. Chimes, and then we're going to scan the product and plug it in with the spinny wheel, and that's it. There we go. So it's ready to scan then. So there's a little code on the back. So I'll just watch him find it. There we go, it's found it. And then we've just got to plug him in and it'll all pair up nicely. So there we go then, that's all in. All the ring doorbell set up then. It's set up for the motion at the moment. So we're going to have a little play with it. But yeah, that's uh, that's all this job complete. Right then, flipping out, that took, a, that took a, a while to get that through. But to be fair, it, it whizzed through. Um, I've got to see the ending. We're actually at a hotel we're going to be working at. So there's a video on that, so that should be cool. But so yeah, we got the, it was a perfect shot through the wall, through the uh, through the cavity into that switch, the little earth, stiff earth wire rather than the rod, so it could go up and kind of tilt down a bit, get your finger in and pull it out, so that's what we did. But yeah, it went, it went perfect. And then all the setup, then you saw how we did that. So it's basically self-explanatory in the app, as soon as you've signed in via Google or email, but that's that's about it. So yeah, that customer's dead happy then, so if he's, got, if he's out and there's a delivery, 
obviously they're pressing the button, you can talk to them and say, put it round back, I'll put it here, I'll show it in the recycle bin. Because I've had it where delivery's come and they've just walked away and said, we'll try again tomorrow. And that's no good when you need it today. So, yeah, that's uh, yeah, I do like the ring doorbell, it's pretty cool. Right then, so if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload. So as always, have good from me and Ellis, and we'll see you on the next one.